so in this video we're going to be upgrading the main board on the CR6 SE to this uh, big tree tech SKR CR6 um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this screw it's located under the front of the bed just just be two seconds just take that off <clears throat> then we're going to flip the printer on its side and just get access to this back panel there's three screws here you're just going to have to take off all three of them so yep once you get that off the panel should come out Now that we have the plate removed, we're just going to slide it down gently and just watch out for that cable that's attached to the fan. Um, we're just going to unplug that fan, just give it a little tug, it's hot glued in, I noticed this afterwards. Um, but you can notice there's a lot of hot glue, for some reason Crowley felt the need to do that. So we're going to have to go along and just very carefully with a hairdryer, just remove all that hot glue and try to get the cables out. So now we're just slowly heating up each, each of the cables where the hot glue is, trying to loosen the hot glue, give it a little pull, see if we can get it to move. There you go, you can see we're starting to loosen up there now. Um, you just want to go around and do this to each cable. Uh, on my one, every cable had hot glue all over it. So you just have to go around to each one individually, take your time. And uh, yeah, don't burn yourself or the, or the board or the cables. Gently over it. See here, they're starting to come out. So that's good. So once you get most of your cables out, you can start basically undoing the main board from the printer, and uh, leave the f the four red, black, red and black wires. You can leave them um, in because it'll make it easier later on. So you want to move that screw, the screw up there, the one top left and the one on the bottom left. Um, once you have those out, you can fit your new board. So. Just gonna do that, just take these out. So now that we have the old board out, we can start fitting the new one. Uh, I kind of struggled with this, found it kind of difficult. So what I did was I put the SD card in the board and then use that to line it up with the hole. So that might just be a good idea for you guys to try that too. Uh, sorry, you can see my beard in the shot, but uh, yeah. Also, like, it was easy enough to do. And you just want to use the same four holes for the screws um, as the one you took out. But now we're gonna put the cables back in. Uh, this is kind of easy. I have a drawing that I used to work out where all the cables go back in. Uh, most of the cables are kind of self-explanatory. Like you know, you have a four-pin, three-pin cables and you kind of know where they have to go. And if you just looked at, if you took a picture of your old board before you tried to install the new one, like taking the cables out of it, you can just follow that picture. But uh, here's a picture I used. So if you just want to pause on this, you can just use this and follow it. Uh, one thing I will say is the gantry cables are keyed, so they have to go into a specific slot and that will help you. Um, but yeah, once you get it wired up, it should only take maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds. Um, You'll be almost done. I'm nearly finished. So now we're going to remove the high current cables from the old board. Uh, at this point, if you want, this is where you'd put ferrules on. I didn't have any ferrules to put on. So, uh, yeah. But uh, we're just going to remove them from the old board put them in the new one. So first thing you want to do is just unscrew all of the terminals on the new board. Just to make sure they're open. So now we're just going to try to get the cable into the terminal. What I realized very quickly, it was probably easier to do this um, with the board out of the printer. But, you know, you learn. Every, <laughs> every day is a learning day. So yeah, you just want to get into the hole. Uh, make sure it's in there tight pushed up tight inside of it and then just uh yeah screw it on so you want to do that for all four of them uh, and just make sure you keep them in order i don't know if anything bad happens but i imagine it does so yeah just make sure they're all in order i 
forgot to install the heat sinks, but I'm doing that now. Again, that would have been something easier to do outside of the printer. So once you get that done, that's pretty much everything. Um, you'll need to find a firmware for this board. Uh, I'll leave a link to one in the description. But uh, yeah, happy printing.